Today we're talking about pocket holes. And to be honest with you, I would much rather be talking about pocket holes and how you can do them yourself than talking about paying someone else and having holes in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I came up with that one myself. Pretty proud of it. I've been thinking about that for about an hour. All right, let's try this again. So today we're talking about pocket holes. Uh, pocket holes are used to join boards together. Typically it's a, a joint in the corner and you have multiple options for the way you're gonna join boards together. You've got the mortise and tenon joint, you've got a dovetail, you've got biscuits. To be honest with you, when you look at the mortise and tenon joint, however, uh, compared to the pocket hole, you're looking at probably uh, double the strength with this pocket hole. So we're gonna focus on these today. There's another jig out there from Craig Got to be honest, makes things super easy. This is going to be a short video because you really don't have to spend a lot of time with these. Similar to the hinge project that we looked at before, this jig makes this go super quick. So I'm going to show you how to use this jig and then you're going to be off and running on your own. So let's take a look. So I promise you this will be a short video and that's exactly what it's going to be because pocket holes are so simple to do thanks to Craig and this jig they made, you could be at any experience level and get these done in a matter of minutes. So let's take a look at what they've included in the kit. Within the kit itself, you've got the actual jig. This is gonna be your bench jig. You know, this is a little bit large to be able to carry to your workspace if you've already started working on a project. But if you've got a whole bunch of boards already assembled and you need to take the jig to your boards, they've got this uh, smaller version that you can put right onto your board. And so the, all the magic really happens inside of this guy right here. And I'm going to show you how to use this in a second here when we put together boards. But you do, again, similar to everything else that we've talked about in previous videos, you do need to know what your board width is because that's going to matter when we set this jig. It's going to uh, go for the exact thickness of your board and drill the right hole in the right spot. So make sure you have the board thickness before you get started on this. Uh, beyond what we've already talked about, you also get this dust collector. Drilling pocket holes, you would be surprised at how much dust you end up with, how many wood shavings. And so you can pop this in here when you start and you can hook up your shop vac to it. If you have a dust collection system like I do, it's just integrated inside of my workbench. You can just plug it in right there. That'll help keep some of the sawdust from floating obviously into your workspace, especially if you have a smaller workspace or you're doing it inside your house. Keep it clean, keep it tidy. That's the way to go. So let's take a look, see how we can make these pocket holes. All right, I promise we could do this quick and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I've measured my board thickness and we're gonna do a three quarter inch plywood today. One of the first things you need to do is take the drill bit that it comes with and make sure that the collar matches whatever your board width is. And the jig has measurements on either side to make sure that you put the collar in the right spot. So because I have three quarters, I've already gone ahead and set this up, but let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay this here and you loosen the collar with an Allen key as necessary and you'll lay it down and you'll slide this to line up, in my case, again, three quarter inch. And so you'll see, you, don't want, you definitely don't wanna go to the tip of your drill bit. You wanna go all the way down here and we've got three quarters lined up and ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece that we actually use to put our holes into. This also has the board thickness. Again, we need to go to three quarters. So we'll drop this in and we're gonna slide it down to that three quarter mark. You can see they've really thought about uh, all the different size boards to help you out here. The next thing we need to do is we need to clamp in our board. So I've got my three quarter inch ply here. Why don't we do it this way? We'll do it this way just to make it a little bit easier. Then the last thing we do is we clamp it in. So we clamp this in, that holds the board in place. One thing to note with pocket holes, you really wanna have two connecting, right? There's no reason you'd wanna just do one screw for your joint. The way this is set up, if you don't have enough room to do on the wide side here, you can still do the B and the C. So we're gonna go ahead, we have enough room. We're gonna do the A and the C here. So we're gonna drill two pocket holes in A and C. And now we can get our drill. Put our drill bit in, and we are ready to go.
And you can see the mess, as I said, that it's already creating here. So if you want to use that attachment, it's probably a good idea that will hook up to your shop vac or dust collection system. And now our pocket holes are drilled. Let's go ahead and connect these boards. So we're going to attach this to this board here. I've got my one and quarter inch screws for this. These are the square head. And it does come with a bit that's long enough to go through the hole, so that's great. Um, just obviously make sure when you're measuring, you get the right length of screws for your job. So we'll go ahead and put this screw in. You can clamp this. I feel like uh, just given the design of the holes, once I get it lined up, I'm in good shape to put it in there. And then we'll do the other one. And that's done, just like that. Now the last step in this process is your pocket hole plugs. So obviously, you know, you could fill this in with wood filler. That would probably not be ideal given the amount of space that there is to fill. Um, what I like to do is just get these pocket hole plugs that you can readily get out there. They do make them with different types of wood. I typically just get the paint grade ones and you stick these right inside. I would, I would use a little bit of wood glue and stick it inside just to make sure that's in there well. And then you slide it in, let it dry. And then you could either use, like some of these go, go in nicer than others. You can use a flush saw if there's too much sticking up, but otherwise you just sand that down a little bit and then you're ready to paint. I promise it'll be quick. Hopefully that was quick enough for you. We were able to drill two pocket holes today into this three quarter inch board to join it to this other one. We've made a super strong joint here now. This has not come apart at all unless someone jumps on it uh, with all of their strength to try to break this thing. We talked about the plug holes as well. Um, you, you can get these plugs and that way you can fill the hole without having to worry about getting some wood filler and messing with the amount of volume that you would need in those spots. If you have any questions as always, leave them below. Please like the video, subscribe to my page. Your support's always appreciated.